Hi everybody, my name is Botswana. Uh, let's get started. So this question right here was requested by a uh, sister whose name is Anete Muadik. Anete Muadik has been uh, insisting a lot, especially like, oh, I'm going to share you a little because a lot of my friends will do the same stuff, giving us problems. So please, Motwana, help me out. All right, so I'm here to help you out. Also, the same question was seen by Puti. Uh, Puti, she from, uh, I'm not sure face where Anete from. Anete, you let me know where you're from. Very, very important, okay? Also, the same question was requested by Puti Dokufle. Puti Dokufle, she from one of the provinces of South Africa, called Gauteng. Gauteng is up north. Okay? Also, the same question was requested by student from Limpopo. Man, where you at, my people from Kazuna Town? My brother and sister from Kazuna Town. Come on, man. I never see you ask me to solve this question. Come on, what happened to you today? And my sister and brother from Mississippi, Alabama. Because you always ask me questions, say, Mutwana, help us, Mutwana, help us. But, you know, no problem. I see people from Limpopo in Gauteng and Anete also. I'm not sure where exactly Anete from, whether she's from Cape Town or Deben. She should let me know. Or George or where, which province, I'm not sure. Anete, let us know. So let's get started with our Father Jew. Uh, let's get started. So the question say uh, here, a derivative. So the derivative of this question is very easy. First and foremost, you need to know the tan inverse. How you do tan inverse? If somebody say give you fx, let's say they give you fx, like how they give us tan inverse of function of x. Let's say derivative. It's easy. So what you're going to do face, let me show you face. If somebody gives you say y equal to tan inverse, let's say of fx. So this has to be part of the solution too. Okay, let me write on top a little bit because make part of the solution. So if somebody give you f of x, if somebody give you let's say y equal to a tan inverse of uh let's say f of x. So if this tan inverse, so you say dy dx equal derivative of whatever we have here. So it's gonna give us a prime d over prime in the over one plus square that function means square this function here see so you find the derivative of that you write on top and they say one plus square of the function so this is how you find the inverse of tan of a trigonometry so for this question here we're going to we're going to use the same tactics i'm going to say if a prime equal to less derivative function. So I'm going to say derivative of my function. But a function is square root of x and then 1 plus square this function. So then we're going to have, when you derivate the 1 on top, this one here, it's going to give us 1, 2 square root of x, and then over 1 plus is going to give us x because this is the cancer give us x. See what I'm saying? So then, Sorry about that. And then we say finally for the first one is going to be write your bracket so I can take this to the bottom. So it's going to be 1 over 2 square root of x in the right bracket 1 plus x. Okay, so that's our final answer. So a prime ht prime, oh my god, it's not about, yeah, yeah, h prime of x equal to that that's a face equation we're done so now we go for a second question second question also uh kind of use a similar little bit example but this is tan this is cos inverse let me show you how you do cos inverse of t so the second question is the product rule of a function because you know why we say products you have it First group multiplied by second group. So now let's go to the product. The product will say if you have a f times g, okay, f times g, and then you derivate, let's do this, f times g, derivate, this same as say, put the first one constant, and then derivate the second one. And then plus, now you switch, you say the first, this is going to be constant, and then you derivate the first one. This is the product rule. No. So now let's let's do that problem. Let's do what it gives to us here. So now I'm gonna say if I have this, I'm gonna say h prime of 
t and now we deal with the t not x anymore i'm going to write this constant it's going to be constant and then now derivate of derivative the second one which is cos inverse of t we're going to plus we're going to plus now this is going to be constant now cos inverse of e of t is going to be constant and then we're going to differentiate what square root of t now we're going to differentiate square root of t easy so now we're going to say now let's simplify so we simplify look uh we're going to say here t but let me show you something very very crucial uh not before we go there let's write not because here i need to show you how to derivate the cos inverse because that's a tricky inverse so not if somebody give you uh derivate cos inverse of let's say g of x so what you do you say this let me say uh, write your negative and then derivate your function and they say and then after that uh, you say 1 minus your function you square square your function oh okay so it means you derivate whatever you have here you write on top and they say 1 you make sure you write your negative these are law of trig in this derivative so now this one here is going to become d dx of cos inverse of e power t equal less derivative of function means less derivative of function so first it must be negative and then when you derivate this you get the same thing and the one minus don't forget your square square your e of t as your function which is going to be e look if you have the e t and the e square is going to be e to t so it's going to be e to t. Oh, so when you derivate, all of this stuff is going to give you this. So we're going to substitute, you're going to say substitute into, let's call this, let's say, first equation, into first equation. First equation, then it's going to become, it's going to become, so let's write how it's going to become, because now we know this value here. So I can erase, but I make sure you write everything in a solution, don't skip. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna say now it's gonna become so that that question is gonna become say h inverse of t equal square root of t is just square root of t. So all of this when you differentiate, we say we got what negative negative what of e t over square root of one minus. 1 minus what? e to t and then square okay now this is plus plus so we have a cos inverse of t now when you square this it's going to give you it's going to give you 1 over 2 square root of t see what i'm saying so now we can just put them together and they say h inverse of t equal so let me write you the positive because this is positive g positive so i can write you the left i can say um cos inverse of e power t over 2 square root of t and then now negative and positive is going to give us negative because we multiply the two is going to become negative and i can write square root of t e t over this e t over 1 minus e to t so then excuse me sorry my apology okay so then that is gonna be okay let, let's put it like this look so this uh is going to be our final answer for a second so look uh, like i say writing the comments is very very important because when you write the comments means i know oh there are people who need my help there are people who need my presence but if you're not doing that then oh maybe some people don't need my help and then maybe I can help other grades, so I can help other university students. So if this video was part of your solution, 
for whatever you're doing, either your school task or either your practice, either learning, please leave a comment below. Tell me, you know, any type of feedback if it did help you or give me your thought. Tell me what you think. And just in case for a new one, if you have not been here before or you've been here but you forgot to subscribe, make sure you come here, you subscribe. So I hope Puti Lindokutle from Gauteng, one of the provinces in South Africa, and also Anete Mwedik from South Africa too. I'm not sure where she's from. Maybe she's from Cape Town or Port Elizabeth or George. You should let me know. See, uh, Anete, because you're always on my page. It's like, yo, we're trying to help me out. See, I'm going to share your video with a lot of people. And also, uh, the student from Limpopo. Man, I'm grateful now there's a lot of students from other provinces too because they always get a lot of students from uh, KwaZulu Natal most of the time. That's why you see I have a picture here representing KwaZulu Natal, the kings. See? So, man, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to a lot of people. And I'll see you very soon. This is easy, man. I'm out.